The deadline has just passed for interested candidates to file paperwork to enter the election for San Francisco's mayor. Eight candidates are vying to replace Ed Lee, who died unexpectedly, as you know, last month. The candidates include former San Francisco Board of Supervisors President Angela Aliotto, acting mayor London Breed, San Francisco Supervisor Jane Kim, and former state senator Mark Leno. ABC 7 News anchor Carolyn Tyler is in the newsroom with a look at what's going to happen before the election. Carolyn. Well, Dan, the drama now shifts to the Board of Supervisors. Those lawmakers are expected to decide who should fill the top spot until the June election. Supervisor Aaron Peskin today at the board brought this up that it is our duty to have that conversation and most importantly to hear from the public. There has really been no opportunity uh, other than email. Anyone who's going to run has done what they need to do, like Supervisor Jane Kim, who filed her paperwork at the Elections Department today, well ahead of the 5 p.m. deadline. The sudden death of Mayor Ed Lee triggered this contest and the next chapter in this political drama. Between now and the June 5th election, who should serve in the top spot? Currently, Board President London Breed is acting mayor per the city charter, but there are those like these progressive Democrats who believe that gives Breed, considered more moderate, too much power and a leg up in the June race. They're pushing for a caretaker mayor, not running for the full-time job. We need San Franciscans to get to choose who our mayor is, and we cannot have 11 people in the Board of Supervisors have their thumbs on the scale. It'll take six votes for the supervisors to come up with an interim mayor, and if they can't reach consensus, Breed will will continue as Chinese acting mayor. American she has supporters, including the head of the Commission on the Status of Women and former Mayor Willie Brown, who says she should continue to lead. Whatever happens will happen, and ultimately what I want to do is make sure that my good relationship with my colleagues continues. Political strategist David Latterman says there's no right or wrong, but wonders if a caretaker is in the best interest of a city always in the spotlight. If we have a true caretaker, they're not accountable to voters. They're going to be gone in five months. Their priorities are going to change. Now, it's unclear when a vote on an interim mayor might actually take place, even though Aaron Peskin introduced the idea today. So far, as far as I know, a vote has not been scheduled. In the newsroom, Carolyn Tyler, ABC 7 News. Okay, Carolyn, thanks very much.